Hello dinosaurs, we are now at level 2 Jurassic World Midlands and you can see this is our shelf right over here. It's looking brilliant. We will do a tour of this later on after our video. But yes, we are about to film our 130 dinosaurs in the box. We have plenty of new figures to unbox today, so let's get right into it. Okay guys, it's time for us to take a look at all these dinosaur figures. We have plenty of new Camp Cretaceous McDonald's Happy Meal dinosaur figures. This is the first one right here, which we have unboxed and reviewed in our previous video. This is a Parasaurolophus, alright? I'll place this right on the floor over here. And next, let's take a look at this Baryonyx. Check this out guys. It looks pretty cool. So how do we actually operate this? I'm not too sure. Um, I think it's the tail. You just need to rotate the tail and you can see the head is actually moving. So this is a Baryonyx D Heavy Claw. I'm just gonna place it right over here. Next up, let's take a look at this. Are you guys on Team King Kong or Team Godzilla? Let me know down below. So this is the new Godzilla vs Kong. Mega Punching Kong. So it has a twist body battle action. Okay, so check this out. It looks very, very cool. All right, it's time for us to rotate the body. So you can see the eyes can actually light up. Yeah, so this is pretty cool. You can actually move the arms and rotate the body and release it. And it will just do a punching motion. And it comes with this really, really awesome better axe right over here yeah which the godzilla has used this to like you know attack the opponents all right so you can see it is very very incredible really huge figure it's really nice and there's a button right here i wonder what this button um does ah okay so you can see the eyes actually light up once you press the button okay so this is you know without pressing and this is how it looks like when it's being pressed Next up, let's take a look at this. Um, what is this? This is the new Slash and Battle Scorpius Rex. So it comes with two buttons, okay? First action actually opens up its jaw. The other one, the slashing hands action. And of course, it comes with this tail swing action, which I didn't know how to operate until one of you guys actually lets me know down in the comment sections. So basically, you just need to pull the tail back and release it to simulate, you know, the tail being swing. And these spikes are actually poisonous. Yes, this is a very, very cool figure. I know that you guys wanted to scan the Jurassic World Facts app code. So you guys can probably pause the video and just do a scan. All right. I've also did a review video on this figure. So probably you can also look at the review video if you're not able to scan this. Next up, we have purchased some really cool figures and this is actually from Schleich, which is an Apatosaurus. Yes, what does the name mean for the Apatosaurus? Is it the deceptive lizard or is it the double beam? Or is it, let me know down below, okay? Or is it the thunder lizard? I'm not too sure, so you guys please let me know down below. So this is a brand new 2021 Apatosaurus. Next up, we have this really, really awesome Armored T-Rex, yes, Safari LTD just released this and I've just purchased this on my own. So check this out, it looks very, very cool. It comes with this little tag right here, which I'm gonna remove it in a moment. All right, you can see it looks like a Dino Riders kind of um, dinosaur, it comes with this armor and this really cool head gear. Yep, so T-Rex, the Tyrant Lizard King. And right over here, you know, we have some really, really cool figures, but you know, hold on. Okay, let's take a look at this. So we have the Indominus Rex right over here. I think that you guys have seen this before. Let's open up another one. And this is a Triceratops from the first wave. I've actually got this on my own, but I've also purchased some from eBay to complete the entire set. Yes, this Pteranodon is actually new to me. I've never seen this, so you can press the wings together and the mouth will just move along. So it's pretty cool. And recently, um, PNSO actually sent me some um, you know, dinosaur figures and this is a Parasaurolophus right over here. Okay, 
And they also sent me this really cool looking Allosaurus. Yep, so thanks to PNSO for sending us this, you know, figures, you know, uh, recently. In my previous video, we've actually reviewed it. All right, next up, yes, I've actually asked you guys, Team King Kong or Team Godzilla? This is actually one of the latest Godzilla uh, figure that, that I have purchased very recently, all right? So soon, soon, we will be creating a Godzilla and King Kong, I mean Godzilla versus King Kong collection video. Let me know down below whether you guys are, you know, interested and excited to watch that video. Next up, I think you guys have also been waiting for this. The Storm and Escape Tyrannosaurus Rex, okay? So once you press this button, the headgear will actually just burst right open, okay? Check this out. Three, two, one, and let's go! Okay, this portion is actually still intact, but you can actually open it up, up very easily like this, okay? So this is the new Dino Escape Stomp and Escape Tyrannosaurus Rex. And if you twist the tail, you'll just go into this stomping action. Really, really magnificent uh, nail figure. Of course, the code for you guys to scan, if you are able to pause it and just scan it in your Jurassic World Facts app, you know, to have it in your collection, okay? So very cool. I really like this a lot. You can see the upper portion of the body actually moves upwards and the jaw will just spring right open. The tongue, there's no tongue in it, right? You know, for the epic roaring T-Rex, you can actually see the tongue moving, so that is very, very awesome. So if you ask me honestly, I definitely feel that the epic roaring T-Rex is, is better, it's more fun. I'm not too sure about you guys, but you guys can let me know down below, okay? Next up, another armored dinosaur, guys. Yes, another one. We have plenty of new figures today. Um, so this is a Triceratops, a armored and armored Triceratops from Safari LTD. So you guys should know that Triceratops versus T-Rex, they are actually rivals. And which team are you guys on? I think most of you guys will be on Team T-Rex. I'm not too sure about you, but I'm definitely on Team T-Rex. Although I love the Triceratops as well. And speaking of Triceratops, we have another one right here. And this is like a long lost cousin, the Styracosaurus, all right, which is known as the Spiked Lizard, all right. It is also a Ceratopsian. Yeah, next up, let's open up another one of this McDonald's Happy Meal Camp Cretaceous figure. You can even see the Jurassic World um, emblem right over here. So, this is a Carnotaurus, and this is 100% Carnotaurus Toro because of the scars on um, the face right over here, okay? So you can see this works like the Savage Strike Dinosaur figures. Next up, let's take a look. I think it's time for us to open up one of this Stegosaurus. There are actually two versions, two different color variations, but we are just going to open one of them today, okay? This is from Nanmu Studio, so let's open this up, all right? Let's do this unboxing right now. As you guys know, our Saturday video is full of surprises, full of unboxing, full of um, cool stuff. So you guys are definitely in for a treat. So let's open this up. Oh, how do we open this? Oh, it's right over here, guys. Okay. And of course, it comes with a very cool figure right here. And this looks like Dr. Alan Grant. All right. Get the beautiful Stegosaurus up from the box. You can see this is a Jurassic Park, Jurassic World inspired Stegosaurus. Looks very brilliant. Okay, it looks fantastic. Let us do a close up shot on this. Just check out the details on this figure. Okay, you can see the four spikes at the end of the tail. The plates are beautiful, intricate detailing and sculpt sculpture. Um, sculpturing, <laughs> yeah. I beg your pardon, I was just lost for words, you know, just now. Yep, so there you go, a beautiful Stegosaurus from Nanmu Studio. We may open this up later on, or we may open this up in um, next week's video, okay? But check this out, the beautiful illustrations that they have created over here. Looks very amazing, and this is like a beautiful painting. All right, and speaking of Stegosaurus, we have one more right here. Of course, this is uh, the new Camp Cretaceous 
Stegosaurus, okay? Um, I'll just put this away because you guys have seen this like, you know, countless time. Um, check this out guys, so this is a huge fairy Xenosaurus. I call this the super colossal fairy Xenosaurus, but this is definitely not from Mattel. This is basically um, a figure I got from um, AliExpress, Taobao. Okay, there's actually a button right here. So once you press it, it'll actually raw. Yeah. But this raw is like the most generic raw you can ever find. It is like the raw of a Godzilla. Yes, I'm not kidding you. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. I've actually brought more figures, you know, from other brands that you guys may not be extremely familiar with. This is actually an Acrocanthosaurus from Terra by Batat. Yes, Acrocanthosaurus, the high spined lizard. Okay, next up, let's open up another one of these eggs. Another Carnotaurus Toro. I beg your pardon, okay? Let's open this up instead. Brumpy the Ankylosaurus. I'm not too sure whether you guys have seen this before, but there are definitely more figures inside which you guys have not seen before. But I think it's time for us to open up one of this Can Cretaceous Captive Axe. As you guys know, we have opened up at least, I'm telling you the truth, we have opened up at least 80 eggs of this. And there are still four missing dinosaurs that you know we, we have yet to um, land on. We need Conotaurus Toro. We need um, we need Charlie the Green Velociraptor. They have actually named it wrongly. And we also need um, we also need our pair of trusty scissors. Where is it? It is right over here. Okay, so let's open this up together. My hands are very very slimy right now, but that is fine. So once again, we've got the similar dinosaur as you guys can see, exactly the same exactly the same yes we have got this figure like we have at least 10 of them yes this is the echo that we have been getting for for ages yes i'm not kidding you we have been getting this figure in every single video so toy monster please do something about this man i mean we have been trying to get bumpy we've been trying to get Colonel taurus toro we have been trying to get um charlie but you know, we are starting to get um, really, really frustrated and impatient. <laughs> but at the same time, you know, we should not give up. We should keep trying. But we are spending a lot of time, a lot of money to buy all these eggs. But we have still yet to get the complete set. So yes, this is pretty frustrating. But what can we do? What can we do? That's fine. Okay, we'll just keep on, you know, searching until we land those figures that we are missing. All right, next up, we have a Parasaurolophus, which is known as the Near Crested Lizard. This is a figure from a Japanese brand called Favorite Co. They produced very, very cool figures like this. Very colorful, very vibrant looking. I love them. Next up, I think this dinosaur is a breed, is a species which, you know, many of, many of us don't really know. Dino Kyrus, I don't even know what does the name mean. So if you guys know, do help me out down below. Of course, the next one is something that we are extremely familiar with, which is the Barry Yonex, which is known as the Heavy Claw. Because you guys can see, this claw, the first digit, actually has a nail, which is extremely, or should I say claw, which is extremely huge and heavy. Yep, that's right. This is the Barry Yonex from Safari LTD. And next up, I'm very happy to show you guys this figure from Happy Keen because this is actually a Tylosaurus. And yes, and speaking of Happy Keen figures, I'm trying to find more new species and we can make like a collection video on that, okay? Um, this is also one of the latest Camp Cretaceous figures that we have purchased very recently. The Spinosaurus Snap Squad. All right, next up, two T-Rex right over here from McDonald's Happy Mew. But just to show you guys another one which you may not have seen it before, which is the Stegosaurus. Yes, this is a new one. And this is like only available in certain countries. So I was not able to get it in my country. So I had to go on to eBay and spend um, you know, a considerable amount of money to purchase the entire set, a set of 12. All right, let's open up another one. Brachiosaurus, it looks super amazing. It looks 
super adorable. It looks like a baby Brachiosaurus, as you guys can see from the beautiful and adorable eyes. Yes, Brachiosaurus is known as the arm lizard. As you guys can see, the two front legs are longer than the hind legs. All right, next up, another super popular Cam Cretaceous dinosaur, the Sticky Moloch. Yep, the strike, the savage strike Sticky Moloch. When I look at this, I always cannot remember the species that, you know, this belongs to. Let's take a look at this, trying to locate the name right, written right over here, the Pladiosaurus, which is a herbivore. What does the name mean? I don't really know, okay? But I definitely know that this is an Ankylosaurus, right? Or is it a Euplocephalus? Oops, this is actually a Euplocephalus. I beg your pardon. But this is 100%, 200%, and an Ankylosaurus, and we have two bumpies right over here. This is the one from McDonald's Happy Meal, which comes with this savage strike action, as you guys can see. You press this button, the head, and the tail will move. Pretty cool for a McDonald's Happy Meal figure, and of course, a bumpy, um, you know, this is figure is actually from Mattel, which looks so, so, so amazing. Ankylosaurus is known as a fused lizard because the bones inside are all fused together that forms a extremely, extremely tough armor. And it's time for Rods to open up another rack. Another rack for disappointment. Another disappointing moment. <laughs> Come on, let's not be so pessimistic. Let's be optimistic. Maybe we will finally land the Carnotaurus, which I highly doubt so. If we were to get um, the Carnotaurus, I am going to scream out loud. I am telling you, okay? If we are getting the Carnotaurus or, or um, Charlie or the Brumpy, I'm just gonna scream out loud. I'm not kidding you. Yeah, I told you so. You're not getting the figure that we are supposed to get. I mean, we wanted to get. No way. It's Baryonyx. Glow in the dark Baryonyx. I, I know this is supposed to be red, but we already have like a couple of them. Yes, I'm not kidding you. Where's the head? Oh, it's right over here. So this is a glow and the dark baryonyx. For the for all you guys who are seeing this for the very first time, you know, good for you, cause you know I think many dinosaurs have actually seen this baryonyx, this glow and the dark baryonyx for like countless times. Yes, glow and the dark baryonyx. I'm not able to show you guys. Um, how it looks like in the dark because it's extremely bright in this room, okay? But I'm able to show you guys what a Spinosaur looks like, you know, the, this bipedal Spinosaurus from Safari LTD. Um, yes, and this is the Carnegie Collection Safari LTD Spinosaurus. It looks one of my most favorite figures from Safari LTD. It's actually pretty old, um, all the way back in 2008. So this is like a classic figure. This is a Pachyrhinosaurus from Terai by Batet, okay, which is, uh, I think I got this figure sometime back in 2016, I'm not too sure, 2017 probably, yep. Alright, time for us to open up another Cam Cretaceous egg right over here. Let's have a look. Yes, we have Blue, the Velociraptor right here. And, um, do you guys like Blue more than Rexy? Yeah, let me know down below because I really wanted to know, you know, are there more supporters of the T-Rex or are there more supporters of Blue? So you can see, it's really adorable. Once you turn the tail, it will just, you know, shake its head. Do you want to eat some vegetables? Nope. Do you want to eat some tomatoes? Nope. Do you want to eat some meat? Yes! <laughs> Alright. Alright, next up, let's take a look at another Cam Cretaceous dinosaur. This is a... Ceratosaurus right here, okay, and this contains no raw. This actually came with, uh, which said that it came with, I cannot remember. All right, but that's fine, that's fine. Let's take a look at um, more figures from Happy Keen. This is actually an Australovanator, if I'm not wrong. And this is the more realistic version of an Australovanator. It looks like a raptor, and this dinosaur was actually discovered in um, Australia. Yes, that's right. So this is like the, uh, the pride of Australia. If you visit the museum, you can actually see the fossils of this dinosaur. Of course, with the beautiful Giganotosaurus from the DK Book of Dinosaurs, 
So this figure right here is actually inspired by the painting, the illustration from that dinosaur encyclopedia. And I really love this. I feel this is the best figure from the Happy Kim series. Giganotosaurus, which will be coming out in the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. Yes, Giganotosaurus will be in the movie and this dinosaur will probably take down Rexy. We are not too sure, all right? Giganotosaurus, the giant southern lizard. Remember this name. This will be the next big dinosaur. All right, Sucomimus right here, okay? Sucomimus right here, which is known as the, um, oh my goodness. Sucomimus, is it known as the crocodile mimic or was that, um, I can't remember guys. Sucomimus, I think it's known as a crocodile mimic. Um, yes, I think so. Yeah. Help me out guys. If I'm not, if I'm wrong, just correct me down below, okay? Uh, we have a Velociraptor Snap Squad right over here. Another Terra by Patet figure, which is a Conotaurus. And this is actually Enzu, I think, from Safari LTD. Very nice figure. All right, let's move on and take a look at another rack, shall we? Maybe let's open this up instead. This one right here, okay? This definitely will not give us disappointment. This is a Sticky Moloch, and uh, let's do a comparison. Of course, this looks like the Wave 1 Sticky Moloch, and this is a Camp Cretaceous series. All right, let's move on. We have more um, Camp Cretaceous figures, and this is the Paris Rutherford, which is the bioluminous version. You can see it has shiny sheen on its body. You can rotate the tail, and the head will just move Pretty awesome figure, and of course, there are new Camp Cretaceous figures coming up really soon. And next week, I will be reviewing the new Kakaro Gontosaurus. Yes, this is the Soundstrike Baryonyx Scream. There will be Baryonyx Chaos coming out really soon. Yes, that's right, not kidding you. Next up, new Snap Squad. Yes, this is a new series of the Camp Cretaceous Snap Squad, a beautiful Triceratops. Let me reach out to grab hold of more figures. A um, extremely, extremely cool looking Brachiosaurus. I think this Brachiosaurus is like traveling. It's like walking or just strolling. This is from Favorite Cole, okay? Nice figure to have. Oh, oh my goodness. What is this harness doing right here? And of course, we have the Grab and Go Endoraptor. Yeah. One of my most favorite figures from Mattel and one of the most well-made figure from Mattel. It is able to stand well, it has beautiful sounds, it has beautiful um, articulation. And check this out, this is a beautiful fatted T-Rex um, from Safari LTD. So many of you guys may not know, you know, some of the dinosaurs are actually fatted. Yes, they actually discovered the fossils and they come with quill knobs which are like the little openings that hold on to the feathers. So this is a feathered T-Rex, as you guys can see, it is covered with feathers. So it looks pretty cool. It looks a bit ostrich-like. Uh-huh. Yes, I'm not kidding you. Next up, what is this? We have a running Velociraptor right here from Imagine Next. Yes, that's right. Another beautiful favorite cool figure, which is a Triceratops right here. A blue Triceratops. It's not very often you get to see, you know, colors like blue for a Triceratops. I think it looks pretty vibrant, it looks pretty colorful, but of course it is not as realistic as, you know, brown color and, um, you know, those earthy tone colors. And what is this? It looks like a Brachiosaurus, but this is actually an Argentinosaurus, which is one of the largest sauropods that you can ever find. Sauropods are dinosaur basically with long necks, long tail, and legs like this, yeah. This is actually a, uh, what is this? Real just Saurus, that's right. So until now, I still do not, do not know what does the name mean for this Real just Saurus. So if you guys know, do help us out down below. Time for another disappointment. Yes, let's open this up. Another Campitaceous Slime Egg from Toy Monster Captive. Alright, 
Where is a pair of trusty scissors? There it is. And it's time for another disappointment. Yes, I've already seen it. This is the Indominus Rex. Yes, we have got countless of Indominus Rex. We all know that it has an aggression of 5 and um, intelligence of 5. So well done, Indominus Rex. Not so well done, um, um, Dan. And where's the tail? I think the tail is still in the pack. <laughs> oh my goodness, where is it missing to? We will find it later on. That's okay. That's okay. All right, let's move on. We have a Safari LTD Ceratosaurus, which is known as the Horned Lizard. Where is our Ceratosaurus from? Um, yes, there you, there you are. There you are. Ceratosaurus from Mattel and Ceratosaurus from Safari LTD. Can the move? Can the can the mouth move? Nope. So yes, there you go. Let's see what else we've got. Indominus Rex. We have got a baby Indominus Rex right over here versus an adult Indominus Rex. Do you guys want me to open this up or should we leave this to next week? Next week? Alright, I hear you guys. What? No, no? Maybe later on, okay? We still have plenty of figures to cover. Is this Euplocephalus or is this Ankylosaurus? Are you guys able to tell it right from the beginning? I mean, for me, I can't really tell. Um, but this is definitely a Euplocephalus because I already know the name, but it's always hard for me to differentiate between a Euplocephalus and an Ankylosaurus. Is it? Yeah, I mean, can we tell them apart from the horns around the face? I'm not too sure. So if you guys know, please let me know down below, okay? Next up, another Giganotosaurus. I call this the, the poor version of a Giganotosaurus right here. And this is the deluxe version. This is like the, um, the basic version. This definitely looks way better. All right, we have a sound strike. Sound strike? Is this known as sound strike? I guess so. Cam Cretaceous Pteranodon, and it's pretty cool. You can see the wings are able to flap, you know, very realistically. All right. Next up, we have an Armagosaurus right over here, which is known as the Armagars. Lizard, all right. Um, another PNSO figure. This is a Spinosaurus. I'm not too sure whether the name is known as Spinosaurus Essien. I'm not too sure, I can't remember. But what I'm about to show you it's a revamped version of blue. Yes, so if you take a look at this, there is actually some coloration at the bottom of his body. The toe claws are painted, and there is an additional white stripe along with the blue stripe. So this is a, a uh, much improved version of blue, okay? It looks very similar to the attack pack, but the, the colors are definitely way better. And speaking of Velociraptors, we have another one right here, which is a Safari LTD Velociraptor right here. Next up, we have a Charyptosaurus right here, which is known as the Helmet Lizard. Yes, that's right. Because this crest right here, it looks like a helmet. But to me, it doesn't really look like a helmet. It looks like more like a, a cutter. A rotating cutter to me. Yeah. All right, and this is actually a pteranodon, a very weird but cute looking pteranodon. Um, this one right here, I don't think it is a Therizinosaurus. I think it is related to a Therizinosaurus. Um, from Terra by Batet. Um, I'm not too sure, so I want you guys to help me out, okay? Next up, we have a prehistoric Sinusite, which is a Dimetrodon. I've actually placed this figure not in my prehistoric animal shelf, but I've actually placed it along with the Safari LTD kind of carnivores. Yeah. Okay, next up. Let's take a look at another T-Rex right here, okay? This is actually a T-Rex from Happy Keen, okay? Pretty cool looking, but this is actually a boot leg dinosaur. All right, next up, this is actually a Deinonychus, I think so. Yes, it should be a Deinonychus, or it could be a Velociraptor, but it is definitely a Deinonychus. I mean, after looking at the name written right below, yes, we have confirmed this as a Deinonychus. Um, oh dear, 
Let's see whether we are able to find a name. Yes, Silophysis. It definitely does not look like the Silophysis in Jurassic Park because it's too horizontal. Um, a boot like Triceratops. Not too much to talk about this. A very, very weird looking concavenator. And speaking of concavenators, are we going to see concavenators repainted, re sculpted for Camp Cretaceous? I mean, so far, I don't think so, but it will be nice. And this is a pretty cool looking Dimetrodon. I'm not too sure whether this is actually considered as a bootleg because I've never seen um, one of these from you know Jurassic Park or Jurassic World. But Dimetrodon, this figure looks pretty up. It looks pretty lit. Carnotaurus, this is definitely not a bootleg, but not the best looking Carnotaurus. Of course, Carnotaurus is known as a meat-eating bull because of this really two very significant horns. Another controversial figure right here. So this is actually a Stegosaurus from Terra by Patet. And the paleo artist who actually created this model has apologized you know, for creating the Stegosaurus with eight spikes. Because at a point of time, I think some research was showing that the Stegosaurus actually had eight spikes on the tail. But you know, it has been concluded that it doesn't. And the plates over here definitely doesn't look like you know the plates that you know a Stegosaurus should have. So this is definitely not the most accurate figure from Terra by Batet, but it is definitely one of the most talk about figure during that time. And speaking of Stegosaurus, we have a better version in terms of the colors, in terms of the sculpt, in terms of the accuracy. This is definitely um, better, but not the best one out there for sure. Is this a Silophysis? I think so, from Happy Keen. As you guys can see, the figures from Happy Keen, they are pretty cool. They are pretty, pretty nice to have. I mean, look at this Elasmosaurus. This is also from Happy Keen. And I'm pretty happy with this figure, to be really honest. You know, if Mattel can come up with an Elasmosaurus, I will be super, super delighted. I'm pretty sure that you guys will be equally delighted. And just to let you guys know, I have actually purchased the Ocean Protector Mosasaurus from eBay. Yes, I paid like almost twice the price, but I wanted to get the figure to review to you guys as soon as possible. And I've also got the Super Colossal Carnotaurus. They should arrive in about two weeks time at most. Carithosaurus right over here, the helmet lizard. Um, I'm not too sure what this is. Let's take a look. Cosmoceratops, oh yes. Cosmoceratops, we definitely do not have a um, figure of it from Mattel. So if Mattel can come up with more, New species, I think that will be amazing. Come up with a Giganotosaurus, please, Mattel. Please, that will be really, really awesome. Polar Cantus is definitely one of the strangest looking dinosaurs that you can ever find. I mean, check this out. There's like a stoppage right here. Spike, spike, spikes, suddenly stop, and it comes with this armor right here, and spike, spike, spikes again. What a weird looking dinosaur. I mean, is this dinosaur meant to be, um, um, you know, like a, I mean, it's able to, for someone to sit on his back, I'm not too sure. So this looks like a portion just for like humans to sit on it. So yeah, very strange looking dinosaur. Styracosaurus from Favorite Co. Very nice figure. And this, it's a pretty cool figure, a pretty small figure and very lightweight from Favorite Co as well, Allosaurus, which is known as the different lizard, okay? Giganotosaurus, and really soon, in no time, we will be able, or we will be making a Giganotosaurus collection video. Yes, cause if Giganotosaurus is coming out in Jurassic World Dominion, Dominion or Dominion, there will definitely be a huge Giganotosaurus figure for you to see. There will definitely be a super colossal Giganotosaurus really soon. So I just can't wait. Next year, I'll tell you, is going to be epic. There will be plenty of new Giganotosaurus figures and I will be reserving a shelf just to keep, keep the Giganotosaurus figures. I beg your pardon, I'm just, I've been talking for like 34 minutes non-stop. 
so I'm getting a bit tongue tied at the moment. And right here we have a Terra by Batat um, T Rex. Just hold on for a second while it, I take a sip of water, okay? Ah, feels so much better, guys. Feels so much better. Another sip, please. Just hold on just a second. Don't go away. Okay. There's actually some eyes in my mouth. So, yep. I beg your pardon. I am back right now. This is an Iguanodon, I think. Let's just take a look. Yes, Iguanodon is actually known as the Iguana's Tooth. I'm not too sure why, but probably the teeth looks like those teeth from an Iguana. Does it make sense? I'm not sure. This one looks weird, it looks like a Dimorphodon, but this is actually known as a Germano Dactylus. Ever heard of this? Not for me, until I got this Happy King figure. So let me try to um, find a name. I can't find it, but I have seen it before. There's a name! That's so weird! Oh, it's right here. Oh, I beg your pardon, this is actually a Dimorphodon. <laughs> oh my goodness, you made an error, Dan. Please forgive me, guys. Yes. Let us tilt the box over and let me show you this epic figure. This is actually a beautiful Spinosaurus which we have just purchased from Safari LTD. Really awesome figure. This is the Soundstrike um, Triceratops. I almost forgot the name of this dinosaur figure. I mean, how can you forgive me? I'm supposed to be a dinosaur expert and I can't even name the Triceratops. Um, Command and Conquer Conotaurus Toro. Yes, epic figure, but hopefully Mattel can come up with, you know, new pose or new sculpt of a Conotaurus. I think that would be awesome. Parasaurolophus from Terra by Patet. Interesting figure, cause this crest right here, it actually has a fin-like structure right at the back of his neck. So it looks pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. Next up, a feathered Velociraptor, and this definitely looks like a part lizard, part bird. Ramphorhynchus. Ramphorhynchus is known as. Oh dear, I can't. Remember. I cannot remember. But what is significant about this prehistoric reptile is that the teeth are actually pointing outwards. Check this out. So it's pretty, pretty. Um, interesting, very weird looking as well, but it is actually known for its weird teeth. Alright, Quetzalcoatlus is actually one of the largest flying reptiles you can ever find. It is as huge as an airplane. Yes, I'm not kidding you. Really gigantic flying reptile. And if you are able to see them in real life, I mean, it would just swoop right down and just eat you. And it can't even feel you because you're so small as compared to to him or her. Another Euplocephalus right over here, okay, this is a different color um, variant. And I think this is a Microraptor, if I'm not wrong, that's right, a 2017 figure. So this is four years old right now. A Utyranus, which is a, um, is the Utyranus actually related to a T-Rex? I don't think so, because it looks like Three fingers on each arm. Pecky Cephalosaurus from Favorite Cole. Yes. Brachiosaurus, and this should be a boot leg figure. This is actually imitating or like copying the Jurassic Park Brachiosaurus figure. Cryolophosaurus, the coal crested lizard, because it was discovered in the Antarctica. That's right. A spiked lizard, which is the Styracosaurus from Favorite Co. So you can see this figure, it has red spots all over its body, so it looks it looks pretty cool. Cantrosaurus, yes, I think someone has actually drew a Cantrosaurus figure 
and it looks like the one from Mattel. I mean, Mattel has yet to produce a Kentrosaurus, Kentrosaurus figure, and we are hoping that they can produce one really soon. Parasaurolophus fresh right here, and this is a beautiful one. I can tell you that I really love the paint work, pink mix mixed with like yellowish brown, really nice. Ermagosaurus, the Ermagos lizard, another different variation, and a Terra by Batad Ceratosaurus. This, it looks weird to me. It definitely looks weird to me. I think we are just left with three figures. So this is a Spike Lizard, Styracosaurus. We have the Snap Squad, Conotaurus Toro, which is a new figure. And um, this is a... Uh, I'm not too sure guys. Mini, yes, 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 we have finished the entire box and I promise you guys that I want to show you guys um, our collection, our shelf. So let's go guys, this video is one of our longest video ever. So I've been talking non-stop for 40 minutes. I'm sitting on the floor and my legs are actually numb. So check this out. So this is our Jurassic World Level 2 Midland Shelf. We have actually placed um, the uh, Scorpius Rex right over here. And you can see, this is our shelf. Looks pretty nice. Jurassic Park collection right here. You have our repainted version. I'll be doing a repaint soon, but recently I've been feeling really tired, which is why we haven't repainted much. So really nice figure right here. And yes, I'll be rearranging some of this space to make way for the new Jurassic World figures, okay? Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys on Wednesday for the next video. And of course, stay awesome.